Today's video is going to be all about things that I think are out of style for fall 2023. And these are all practical things. They're not crazy trends, but they're things that I think are a little bit dated that I think there is a better replacement for them that you can wear this fall and winter. So these are absolutely my opinion. So if you differ in my opinion, I think that is great. So leave it in the comments below. And if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jamie. And if you have time, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and also consider subscribing. And and also remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So I want to jump right into shoes because there are some styles of shoes that I think are pretty outdated and they may be shoes that you have in your closet. I know I have some, but I'm kind of putting them aside and wearing some other shoes right now. And those are round toed shoes. So the round toes I think are completely outdated. I know there are a lot of ballet flats and things like that out there that have round toes, but if you can find a pair that has a bow on it or maybe one that looks more like your satin ballet flats I think that's going to be a better option and a lot of those have more of a squared off rounded toe so if you're going to choose shoes that you want to be very stylish this season then you're going to look at ones that are either pointed toe even the pointed toes of like your western inspired boots because western is very big right now and they kind of have a rounded pointed toe on the top but then the sole is a little bit it squared off so it creates kind of a cool look there and also your squared toes so square toes I think elongate just a little bit better than your round toes and there are a lot of options out there and all different styles of shoes and they also are a great option if you can't wear pointed toe then the square toe actually can give you a little bit more room even than your rounded toes another shoe trend this season that is really big are moto boots and i'm really not getting into this trend i like seeing it on other people and maybe if it keeps going then I might get into it, but the combat boots and your lug sole boots were the option before the moto boots. And supposedly those are the styles that are a little bit out of style. And I would say that the combat boots are a little bit dated right now. And the lug sole shoes, depending on how lug sole it is, I'll probably still be wearing. I have some Chelsea boots that have a little bit of a lug sole to them. Not too bad, so I'll be wearing those, but supposedly those are going to be going out pretty quickly and the moto boots are in so I'm kind of on the fence with this one but I wanted to mention it because I think the moto boots are cool if you want to add a little bit of an edge to your outfit and you normally wore the combat style boots then you may want to try the moto boot so the past several years a big thing has been to mix up your prints and maybe wear a print head to toe but now I think the trend is since we have moved more towards classic pieces and solid colors and actually old money style which are your classic pieces that are a little bit more elevated and look more expensive. So now I think the important thing is, is to mix your textures to make your outfits look great. So I have created some outfits where I mix textures, where I did um, cotton sweaters with some corduroys and you can do a lot of different things. You can mix your silks with your leathers. You can mix silk with corduroy. So just things that are kind of opposite textures that you put together that make each other look that much better and make your outfit look more expensive. And I did just put out a video on looking more expensive if you want to check it out. So I had to mention this one because denim skirts are really big this season. And the one that is out of style right now are the mini denim skirts. So the ones that are really, really short. We're not seeing a lot of those right now. What we are finding are a lot of maxi length denim skirts. And I do have a video on styling a maxi denim skirt for someone that is 5'4 and below if you want to check it out. And I also think midi denim skirts. So the ones that come mid calf are really great as well if you don't don't like that maxi length and these are the two that are the better choices to make your outfits look a little bit more stylish and I do think that these trends are going to last a lot longer than that mini denim skirt did so now I want to talk about jean styles and first I want to mention the ones that I think are on trend or in style and then I'll talk about the ones that are out of style in my opinion so what is in style right now in my opinion straight leg jeans of course they have been on trend for a while and I think they are the best option for jeans that fit most of us the best and a lot of these styles are going to stop right at your ankle 
or they can be full length. And also your boot cut and flare jeans are coming back. And I think the boot cuts are really popular right now because of the Western trend, of course, but I just think it's a good option if you don't like that larger flare bottom and you are going to find a lot of these out there. And then your wide leg jeans, of course, are still on trend. The wide leg jeans that are your trouser jeans or just a nice pair that doesn't have a super wide leg, I think can look really good. Now the styles that I think are out, one are your cuffed jeans. And I'm not seeing a lot of this, which I'm glad, but I wanted to mention this because I have seen some and I just don't love the look of it. When you buy them and they're cuffed and you can't do anything else with them, so we should definitely say goodbye to those. And your crop jeans, which I think a lot of people are gonna be happy about this because they were trending for a while and I don't think they're trending anymore. I think we have a lot better options and you can just not even worry about that one. And then your jogger style jeans, which they had a moment last year and I think we're still going to see them, but I do think that they are going out of style. And also your bleached jeans, which makes me sad because I love really bleached, really light jeans. I think they're great for spring and summer. And I actually thought we would be seeing a lot of these in the fall and winter, but really the big thing now are really, really dark jeans. So definitely pull out your dark jeans if you haven't been wearing them because you've been wearing the lighter jeans because they are back. If not, grab a new pair because I think this is going to stick around for a little while because I think it goes along with the look of old money style, classic, quiet luxury, all of that, which I don't think is going anywhere. So did you know that cardigans are back on trend for fall 2023? And so I wanted to mention this one because I think the waterfall cardigan is one of those cardigans that is out of style. Although it can be really pretty and if you love this style, definitely wear it. But there are styles that are replacing this style since that one was really popular for a while. And the ones that are on trend right now are your oversized or your boyfriend cardigans, which I absolutely love. I got one from Quince that I call my grandpa cardigan and I have loved this thing. I wear it around the house mostly and I'll definitely wear it out. I've styled some outfits with it in some of my videos, but I didn't think I would love this style and I do, and especially the cable knit. I think it's a lot of fun. And then the other trend is your short cardigan that you wear like a shirt. And I've talked about this one. This has been on trend for a few seasons. I think it's part of the Y2K or year 2000 trends and they just look really nice. You can wear them open, but I think they look the best closed and as a top and I just think they're really cute. So most styles of blazers are on trend right now but there is one that is a little bit outdated and that's your shorter more fitted blazer and wearing it closed off. So this was a trend a long time ago but it is totally gone and the new way to wear your blazer is a little bit more casually or with suiting. So if you're going to wear a blazer find one that is more classic which means it comes a little bit longer. You can find ones that still have shape to them. They don't have to be super boxy. And then you have your more oversized boyfriend style blazers, which some still have a little bit of a classic look. They're just a little bit bigger and may have a larger shoulder to them. And I know this is a little bit trendy, but this is definitely the style right now. And it's been going in that direction for a while. Now you're super oversized. I would say absolutely stay away from. That is out of style, but something that is a little more relaxed that you can either put with a suit or you could put it with jeans and it just looks really good. And I think any solid color goes, but you may want to stay more classic with navy, camel, or black, and even a plaid would be a good option. So I've always talked about the utility jacket being a great option for a staple piece in your spring wardrobe that can move you into fall. And the new utility jacket that I think is in style over the longer version is a shorter version with some cargo pockets on it. So I've already talked about the cargo pocket styles and hitting a lot of different categories of your clothing, and this is one of them. So if you can find a really cute utility style jacket that's shorter that's not like your normal utility jacket that you know those kind of cinched at the waist and you know they looked really really casual this one I think you could make casual or even dress up a little bit and I just think it's the more in style option so that brings me to the next jacket which is a shacket and this has been a trend for a very long time and I do think it is now out of style we are still seeing them in stores, I know, but I am gravitating towards mine less and I actually find myself putting on more of my denim style jackets. And the denim style jackets that are on trend right now are a variety of denim jackets. So your classic denim jacket, your oversized, your relaxed fit, 
They can be shorter, longer, and even bomber style or moto style. So there are a lot of really fun options in denim jackets that you could choose over a shacket this season. So I wanted to talk about this one accessory because I do think there is a big trend coming in blanket scarves. So your infinity scarves that just wrap around your neck are no longer in style. What is replacing them are your big fluffy blanket scarves and I love these. I think they are so pretty and I do think that this is probably part of that old money style look because you can wear it as a wrap. You can do lots of different things with it and it just looks a little bit more elegant and elevated and will definitely keep you warmer for sure. But those are what make outfits look really stylish right now for the winter time. So I would definitely go for this as opposed to your infinity scarf which I know you probably have in your closet. So again these are just my opinion and I hope you enjoyed it and and the reason why I love doing these videos is because it really gets conversations going. And I love talking about things that are in style and out of style. And I love your opinions. So definitely leave them in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And I'll talk to you next time.